If you're using those same old flower pots year after year, you wish you had something that looked a little newer or better, well in this video we're going to show you how you can take the old flower pot and turn it into something really special. So here's one of my old pots. It's been around for quite a while. Lots of wear and tear and kind of fading in color. Not really something I want to put out again, but today I'm going to fix it up and bring that back to look like something really special. I'll even go to show you a neat little trick on how to provide some drainage for your plants at very little cost and doesn't add a whole lot of weight to your pot. So our first step is going to be just to get this cleaned off, give it a wipe down. For the heavy stuff, you just want to use your brush, and give it a brush off. Once I've got it all scrubbed off, I'm just going to let it dry and that way it'll be ready for paint. So a lot of different options for paint and colors for doing flower pots. They're plastic, so it's not an issue on what style of paint. For me today, I'm using one that's a little unique. It actually has a stone texture to it. It'll be my first time using it, but if it looks anything like the top, it should come out pretty nice. So now that our pot is just about dried, we're going to get ready to paint. So we're going to take it outside, somewhere we got good ventilation, and put the paint to it. So let's see how this works. There's no ball inside this can when you shake it like you typically have. So we'll hope that it's ready to go. This is kind of neat. It's almost like it's spraying sand. So there's our finished product. I'm just loving it. I'm not sure if textured stone is your look for flower pots, but I'm pretty pleased with that. So now that we have our flower pot all painted up and looking good, we're ready to plant some flowers. So I'm just going to show you another little trick you can do as far as drainage for your flower pots. A lot of people just use gravel, which is fine. Gravel works great, but it does add to the weight. So if you need to move it, the pot's heavy enough with just soil. So instead of putting rock and gravel in it, if you've got some poolside floaties you're not using, or if you can't find those, pipe insulation. Just take those, take your utility knife, and just cut them into chunks. So just throw enough in until you got the level you want to give you that ample amount of drainage. So now it's time to add our soil. This is just some soil we picked up at the local garden center. It's your typical dirt mixed in with some vermiculite, uh, some peat moss, and it's just enough to give it some good water retention as well as all the nutrients that the plants are going to need. So we have enough soil, we can put our plants inside and then we'll just top it up with a little bit more soil to even it off. Thanks very much for watching today's video on how to restore your old flower pot. Hope that the tips we've shown you allow you to upgrade some of your flower pots so they look as good as this one.